Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Border City Rock Talk where you get great news, great interviews, great interviewees with sometimes a comedic touch. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and comment below. Today I have Milenko Mateevich, who I would consider the uh, Rick Springfield of Glam Rock. How are you doing, my friend? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm well. Thank you for the uh, compliment. But glam, uh, it's like funny. It's like, I don't know how I got into the glam situation. It's like, uh, I think glam is more of uh, makeup and is, wouldn't that be more of that side of it? Yeah, but, I don't agree. Yeah, I didn't agree with that term either. I would say more of a power ballad, a melodic hard rock. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of them categorize yeah, like that. Funny thing is, um, you guys um, came to fruition really big from uh, Red Alert. And uh, you grew up... Uh, in the hotbed of hard rock, Norwalk, Connecticut. <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, how many other bands came out of Norwalk? Is it just you guys? Uh, there, there was another band, but they they didn't quite hit it. You know, uh, Rage of Angels. They were friends of ours, actually. Oh, yeah. Actually, we stole the drummer from them. <laughs> we, we came into Steelheart. But um, uh, they're still, yeah, they're still good friends. But uh, yeah. yeah, that's how much they came out of it. Norwalk. <laughs> I saw yeah. that and I'm like, I know the band, I mean, but I didn't know um, where they came out of. There's a lot of bands that come out of the East Coast, a little bit of Buffalo, but, you know, Long Island and that. Oh, speaking of Long Island, um, I, I saw an interview with you just recently with, uh, I forget her name, but anyways, um, Amy or something. But anyways, she brought up something that you commented about, about your dad and you told him one day, uh, he goes, what do you want to do with your life? And immediately I'm thinking Dee Snyder. Twisted Sister, I want to rock. And your dad said, you said, I'm going to go to L.A. and be a star. Your dad goes, good, go. <laughs> when you leave no, no, but you no, know, his exact words was, do it. Do it. And then he points at me, do it. Because I think because coming from him, I mean, he came from Croatia, Croatia. to this country and brought it. I mean, that's some serious balls right there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got to give him that, you know. So... <laughs> Uh, that's that's a lot more difficult than you know getting on a plane and going to Hollywood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, coming across the you know well halfway across the uh, the world. Now yeah. um, we're here to talk about a few things. First thing is I want to mention you'll be playing uh, Quaden Steelheart's going to be opening for uh, Stephen Percy uh, Rat um, Fame on September 9th at the Dream Makers. Brought to you by All Star Promotions. Uh, Dave always brings great shows there, so we're we can't wait to see you there on Saturday, the 21st of September. There'll be a link below for tickets uh, to get. Um, a friend of mine asked actually a, a question. She's one of the people that uh, asked a question. Um, in regards to your set list on, on these five dates, uh, is there going to be anything other than Steelheart? She asked me, is there, what's your favorite song that you don't have in your set lists? Normally that you'd you know, love to play. There, there's, a, there's a few of them and we're going to... Um... We are focusing for sure all of next year. Uh, we're going to add, um, so we got a lot of songs, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, you know, which ones do you pick, you know, to mm -hmm. use? So that's why we chose some from the movie, you know, Rockstar. Then you have, um, you know, the hits. And also we incorporated a song from The Doors because for those of you who don't know, I, I sang for The Doors before Ray passed away. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I sent, we did major tours together and I, I was Jim Morrison, so to speak, transcending the energy of Jim Morrison is. And, um, so we added that, we added a song, uh, in, in a set, which really people love, you know, and, um, what else, uh, we want to bring in more of, um, even like, uh, sticky side up second album. Yeah. You know, sticky side up. Um, what was the other? I had maybe loaded mother. Um, definitely love ain't easy. Can't stop me loving you. So the thing is, though, you know, there's there's only so much time in a set. You know, when you perform, you're doing whether it's a headline or a you know opening slot. An opening slot, you get you know 50 minutes, you know 50, 60 minutes, and it goes by fast. You know. Mm -hmm. You know, it's live, the songs are longer, you know, you got little big endings, all that, ha, ah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. so, so it's like, what's the word? Um, 
It's, it's, it's challenging. Yeah. What do you want to hear? I think it's more of that. I think I'd love to hear from the fans. What yeah. would you want to hear in that set? Yeah. You know, well, they're going to definitely hear she's gone. I'll never let you go. I mean, those are two guarantees. That's it, yeah. But um, yeah, so that was one of the questions Andre asked. Now, you just got back from Jakarta. What was that like? Uh, amazing. Uh, Have you been there before? I, uh, many times. Um, oh, okay. So Steelheart, give you a little backstory. Steelheart um, became more famous in Asia before the United States. Wow. So, yeah. So back when the album came out in what, 90, 90, 89, I don't know. So what happened is that um, the label Universal, MCA Universal, they just, we finished the album. It was on the shelves for eight months. However, it blew up in, in uh, Japan. So we went to Japan. I mean, it was just unbelievable. It was mm -hmm. so 32,000 albums the first day. Wow. And you got to understand, though, um, I think, I'm not sure if it's a, that a platinum is 50,000 albums or 100,000. I can't remember. You know, so it's much different than the United States. Mm -hmm. And um, so those are those are big numbers. So we became really famous and we went over there and career started in Asia in 1990. Mm -hmm. And I've been going back there ever since. So she's gone it is still, from what I understand, is it still uh, the number one karaoke song in Korea since 89, since the album was released in 89. North, yeah. North Korea has karaoke machines? South Korea. South Korea. <laughs> South. <laughs> but I hear, I hear, I hear, don't quote me on this, but I hear a lot of people like uh, Steel Heart, she's gone in, in uh, North Korea as well. That's, that's awesome. What do you attribute that to? I mean, that just, it's like, Mr. Big, like um, I've interviewed those boys a few times, and they made their big break uh, in Japan. What do you what do you attribute to the Japanese market um, towards um, Western hard rock? Do you have any thoughts on that? I think you know. I think I think they, you know, the Asian world, the people are very um, perceptive, and they mm. they um, they really connect with the emotion and the feeling of the songs and okay. the singer, you know, they really, they really see, a, a, they go deeper, you know, um, where, I mean, I'm not saying United States doesn't do that or the rest of the world, but it is more here. It's more of like, a, you know what I mean? And over there is more of like, what does the song mean? Exactly what's coming through this person. You know, they want to yeah. learn about you. They want to know how you tick. They want to know what, what, how did you come up with this music and you know what it was chosen? I mean, it's they get they believe in it. And um, and they just love they love the emotion side of it. So I think yeah. that's uh the biggest part. Right. Now trust and love, I just saw um the trailer. Um it was just double parked over there, but no, I just saw yeah. the trailer. And awesome. I mean, when I saw that Eric Roberts was in it, I'm like, wow. I mean, have you met Eric before? Like, I know that you've done acting before, but um, have yeah, you met? Yeah, no, I haven't met him. No, I haven't met him before. Just, just on set. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, that's great, great. I mean, every, everybody, the whole cast was great. Everybody is uh, very extremely professional. Um, yeah. The movie was um, uh, directors. Uh, the the, the DPs, I mean, it was it was done very well and it went very smooth, you know, and that says a lot. You know, when things are going easy, especially on set, um, because there's always like issues, you know what I mean? When you're yeah. doing product movies or albums or there's always some kind of shit that goes on, you know what I mean? But this was uh, pretty effortless, you know, everything came together. Um, with the way when I met Jimmy, uh, we talked about this movie, and he's like, oh, "I want to do this movie." And I, was, I just happened to meet uh, Mick at a party, and I was like, "You guys need to connect," so, you know. So they met, mm -hmm. and it's like, boom, there it is. The director and you know, and Jimmy, the the producer, they they met, and then uh, we sat down and listened to my music. And when we listened to my music, I said, 
I read the script. I said, well, let me give you, let me give you some music that I think would fit. Right. So I gave him one song. He's like, wow, yeah, I like this one. Great. Oh, I like this one. Oh, this is great. He has a, and then I played him Trust and Love and, and make us, hey, you fucker. Hey, you saved the one for, this one for last, didn't you? You knew it, didn't you? I go, <laughs> I go, I think this is your song for the movie. This is the theme. And he goes, you're absolutely right. This is an anthem. I feel yeah. this is like a, a world song. I said, well, I did write for the world and I sang it in 10 languages, mm -hmm. um, which I don't know if you know. Uh, five of them are released. There's still yeah. five that are released. And um, so what he, after listening to the song three times in a row, um, he says, hey, you know, why don't we just call the movie Trust and Love? So mm -hmm. orig originally it was called Split. You know, the breakup, the whole thing, you know, the family breaks up, the band breaks yeah. up, so it's split, you know. And it just, so, you know, when he said trust and love, and of course that's the title of the movie. So yeah. that's how that all happened. You it's, know? it's got, yeah, it definitely has a ring to it. So I think it, uh, August 5th, I think it's video on demand or in theaters. So just give the viewers um, that are Steelheart fans and your fans, just a bit of a, a short version of what the movie is. It's a it's a drama. It's a, it's a comedy drama. Yeah. So if the movie actually the movie's out. It's on oh. uh, VOD. It's on Apple TV. It's on a bunch of other um, platforms. Okay. And as, the way it works, and as that plays out, then it'll go to Netflix and to the HBO and to all that other stuff. Right. Um, well, the movie what it is about, it's about a producer who's had his family for years. He has major hits uh, with his band. And, um, and which is me, I'm the leader of the band, the writer. And, uh, and we had amazing success, but now we're like kind of hitting a wall and he is getting older and he wants to renew his vows with his wife, reconnect with her. And she, she doesn't feel that they have the connection and she wants a divorce. And meanwhile, she's sleeping with a stable boy, which his daughter is getting lessons from <laughs> So. Um, you know, the kind yeah. of things that happen in, in this rock star world, I'll tell you that, yeah. you know, yeah. and, um, so then he has to, you know, he has to get out of his house. Can't see the kids. Uh, the band is falling apart. We suck. You know, we're just out of our minds and a like, bit of on a maniac side, so to speak. And we have no songs. The record company is going to drop us. He's doing cocaine. He's getting hammered. He's going downhill. And. And then uh, we we slowly start turning it around, and um, things start changing. And basically, like in real life, there's always a misunderstanding, you know, right. where she felt like, "Hey, I thought you didn't want me anymore, so I was I was done with it. You're never home. You're never this. You know what I mean?" Yeah. And um, and which it really is not true because he's so close to his family, so close to the children, you know. And, uh, but yeah, he had to work, he had to make the money too. Right, and, right. but, you know, in this business, it really is a lot of hours in the studio. So mm -hmm. you do miss out a lot and you do kind of like forget, you right. know, what's really going on in the home life. And, um, and yeah, then I leave the band, but somehow I write this great hit song called Trust and Love and brings, everything back together and we do a live show and they fall back in love and you know so it's it's a happy ending but it's a it is a roller coaster ride you know yeah for sure so, i mean you, you write that hit song and it's it's funny how um love reconnects when the royalties come back in yeah <laughs> yeah you know you know gotta tell you you know, it's a lot easier with money. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, sign it, get a prenup, eh? Um, yeah. So, um, oh, actually, I was going to ask you something. Um, I was going to ask you about your octave range. What was that? Your octave range. Have My you ever? Octave range. Yeah. Yeah, five. It was five octaves. Five. Ah, 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 five. 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 Okay. Yeah, and five. then the other. The other question was, uh, I don't know why I thought it, have you been, um, been in TSO at any point or been approached to be in TSO? Try, 
Trans Siberian Orchestra? You know, no, I've, I, I've never, surprised. no one ever called me. I, maybe surprised. they don't like me. I don't know. <laughs> I, I've never had the opportunity, uh, the um, the pleasure of, uh, you know, doing the project. So I don't know. Who knows? Maybe the future. Yeah, because, I mean, you're a performer. You're, you're a great musician and singer, but you're also a great performer. Um, oh, I just want to get this one question in the, uh, from Andrea. Before I let you go, where did uh, we put it here? Uh, she asks, okay, we already did that song. Oh, she said, is there something you've learned that you would go back and tell yourself when you first started out, say, in the early days with Red Alert? I'm not sure what she means yeah. by that. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, she, probably, she probably thinks, is there something that you would, like, that you would learn or tell yourself now that that you did in the uh, when you were when you were starting out or younger is that okay. kind of like this? Well, yeah. I'll, I'll say this. Yeah, I'll probably say shut the fuck up. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> not to her, right? No, not to her. Not to her. <laughs> to myself. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You know, when I started, man. I mean, the I'm still, you know, full power. I'm still like ah, you know what Passionate. I mean? Passionate. Yeah. I'm, I'm crazy passionate, you know, and but when I was younger, I was just even even more piss and vinegar, of course, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, just just a young kid, but I, I really wish I had uh, someone like me now to coach me. Oh, mm -hmm. man, I, I tell you something, the things that I could tell other artists how to navigate through this business now as an yeah. artist yeah. i mean it's just priceless you know and um yeah i was uh very passionate very full power very energetic and outspoken and i would just say to myself to bring it all down humble it energy. down right you know? Bring it all down. You can do all of that. Go into a go into a quiet room and scream all you want, or something like that. You know what I mean? Or into yeah. a room and break shit. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then come back and be be chill. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was yeah. so ah, you know. You had the world by uh, by the balls, and you didn't know when to let go, right? So I understand what you're saying. It just back in well, the day, you're, <laughs> you're so driven that uh, maybe you didn't slow down and appreciate what was happening. Well, I was, you know, it all, it all comes down to this, really. You know, it really is who's teaching you, you know, mm -hmm. who's guiding you, who's your rabbi, you know what I mean? Who is really giving you the, the right information and also knowing how to deal with you and how to, um, and that's what managers do, you know, managers, very important, you know, knowing how to, how to, speak to you in a way psychology you know mm -hmm. saying hey don't talk stop talking okay yeah. don't say anything let them you know what i mean yeah that whole thing so and um yeah it's life you know you go through it you live you learn you you hit the you know you hit the ground face first some points and then you hit the stars you know on one leap it's yeah. it's um it's life you learn along the way you do the best you can and i'm a true believer if you do it from the heart and from love that you can always fix anything that you may have hurt anyone or insulted anyone in any way you know what i mean um as long as you're honest and play yeah. from the heart and that's all i've been so i hope that shows Right on. No, it does, man. I can tell just from our, uh, um, just uh, my intuition is good. So I really appreciate your time, my friend. I've got a couple of cliche questions. The one is, what's the opposite of unsubscribe? Opposite of what? Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. Well, subscribe. Absolutely. Everybody, everybody subscribe, does. Is, uh... Subscribe to Steelheart YouTube. Uh, also, hey, we're going to, you know, there's Steelheart TV. Yeah. which uh, is is live. There's a bunch of right. stuff on. We're going to start building that with all kinds of goodies. Every show is live and all of that stuff. So 
And yeah. also, I want to encourage other bands to send me stuff for Steelheart TV. I'd like to just grow the grow the uh, how would I say the underground world of artists. You know, uh, I'd like to exploit them. I'd like to give them some love and chance to be seen, and you know, not just YouTube, but right, little, right. you know, a little more. How would I say focused area that? Yeah. Because YouTube is just so vast. It's yeah, you know. Yeah. We all get lost in that shuffle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what about so, saying that we're gonna do it again? <laughs> so what's the opposite of unsubscribe? Okay, so you can subscribe to Steelheart YouTube. You got uh steelheart.com. You're missing it. What am, okay. am I ruining? You're not no, you're not ruining. This is great. I'm gonna do it one more time. Just stop at the uh, at the word. So what's the opposite of unsubscribe? Subscribe. Everybody what? do as with Milianko says and subscribe to this channel. For great interviews, great oh, interviews. Oh, okay. <laughs> subscribe to this channel, guys. And, yeah, and your stuff too. Uh, hey, hey, that was that was. I guess that's just it's good. It's hanging out with the trailer, right? Yeah. And yeah. the other thing is, um, favorite Canadian band or musician. Ah, shit! It's like I am the worst with this. You know, trying to remember. So I'm gonna get off the phone. I'm going. Ah, of course, these guys. I, I right now I can't even think of that. Give me some names. I am really. My brain we, is we just, oh, I, I'll tell you right now, Rush. Everybody says Rush. I know. I think everybody's born with that. With that. Yeah, Triumph. I grew up with Rush. I grew up with Rush, the the engineer slash producer who became a later there. Did he did all the he worked with him before he did my uh, first album. He was the engineer for my first album. Um, right on. I forgot his name. But uh, <laughs> okay. Well, we got Lover Boy, yeah. we've got Triumph, we've got the Guess Who, we've got uh, Brian Adams. I don't know if you've heard of Brian Adams. Never heard of him. <laughs> That's on the trailer. That's right, man. Of All course, right, I got Brian Adams. All right. That's hey, right. See? Oh, wait a minute. Celine Dion, right? She's a Canadian. She's a Canuck. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. We've got Lee Aaron. We've got Darby Mills. We've got. Justin Bieber. I mean, he's not in the category that I I know. I hear you. To name a few. To name to name a few. Everybody, um, check out the links below and uh, go buy a bunch of merch from uh, Steelheart. Um, and we'll see you at the show uh, in about uh, a month and a, in a in a week or two, my friend. Thanks for joining us. Looking forward. Thank you for having me. Take care.